Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So a little update on the Rasa. I haven't actually used it yet. I uh, managed to get the light pollution filter fitted which was a little bit scary. I ended up having to use a um, lens spanner. So that's fitted and ready to go. Um, I'm going to, after this video, attach the um, the Lost Mandy adapter to my mount so we're good to go but we've just not had the weather for me to do anything with it since last Friday we've had heavy rain flooding and quite high winds last night was partially clear but there was these massive big dark clouds and we had a couple of random downpours so I was like yeah I know the Rasa is a light bucket but I'm not sure I want it to be a rain bucket so it's been a bit of a no-go really so sorry guys hopefully I'll be able to bring you some more information on the Rasa soon and hopefully get a few images out there but alas that is not what this video is about um, I've been lucky enough to have received a parcel from Pegasus Astro in Greece now Pegasus sell their stuff here in the UK via Altair Astro um, and I believe what's in the box is the Pegasus Focus Cube version 2 and potentially a hand controller. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to unbox it and we'll talk a little bit about the, the Focus Cube itself. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. That's a lot of uh, stamps. And we're in. Very well packed. There we go. Okay. I'm going to quickly unwrap this because um, yeah, nobody wants to hear the sound of me unwrapping this. <laughs> okay, so we've got two boxes. And as you can see, the health and safety inspector is here just making her initial assessment. I think, I think they pass. So first box is the hand controller for the focus cube. So that was a little bit unexpected but very kind of Pegasus Astro to send me one of those as well because I don't use a motor focuser at the moment um, I had a go with the Sesto Senso which is a, is a great focuser but unfortunately the pin where it attaches to on my telescope was a little bit bent so it, it didn't give a good result with the Sesto Senso there was nothing wrong with the Sesto but it just didn't work for me whereas this one it will fit on the opposite side and let's move that over there and basically a hand controller I was a bit worried that without you know with a motor focuser I wouldn't be able to focus manual anymore and this would allow me to do so second box 
is the Focus Cube V2 Universal. So let's open this box first and then we'll open that box. So what do we get inside? Yeah, we get like a little poster um, for the Focus Cube V2 and also a poster for the um, Pocket Power Box which I also have and I will be doing a video on it at some point. We also get a set of quick, inst quick installation instructions I'll be giving those a read. And an actual installation guide for fitting it onto my refractor. Now, I do have the Rasa as well at the moment, but this will be literally going on my Altair Astro 72 EDF telescope. Some stickers open the box out a little bit get the focus cube v2 which I have to say feels very premium now in um, it's sort of metal casing. I like what they've done with it. I like the look of the V1. And, you know, I never actually got around to getting one, but um, I must admit the V2 definitely looks like it is a big upgrade in terms of looks. So, I'll pop that there for now. USB cable, so it's. Um, a, min, uh, a USB B to USB A. I've got loads of these now. <laughs> Power cable with a cigarette sort of lighter end. A temperature probe so that um, if the temperature changes during an imaging, imaging session the focus cube can refocus my stuff automatically. Some screws, some bolts and washers. I'll add those there. Ah, and all the couplings. There's various sizes in here, and they come in snazzy blue. And finally, of course, the bracket that will help fit this to my telescope. And that's it for what's in that box. Now for box two. We've got um, an RJ45 cable in blue to match everything else and we've actually got a manual focus controller so this plugs into the RJ45 port on the um, on the focus cube just here so that is where you also plug the temperature sensor in so you wouldn't be using them at the same time. The temperature sensor is there to pick up the changes in temperature so that the focus cube can correct your focus automatically whereas if you're focusing manually you wouldn't need that temperature sensor anyway because you'd just do it yourself. So I can't see that really being an issue. And what else do we get in the box for the focus controller? More stickers. A 
quick installation guide. And another poster for the ultimate power box, which I want, but I have a pocket power box. And the folk not the focus cube, this is the um the dual motor focus controller. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing so we'll just I'm gonna go and get this fitted on my telescope and hopefully I can show you how it's done so before I get it fitted because I want to read the instructions and digest them not actually eat them but you know take it in take it on board so that I don't get anything wrong let's talk a little bit about the focus cube v2 so it's a standalone unit, you don't need like an extra motor controller for this. You could literally fit it, install the software and then use it to focus your telescope. I have the hand controller to save me having to use a computer sometimes just to focus it if I just want to use it like to do visual or something. The dog is super impressed as usual. I'll put up a photo at the end of what her face and what she thinks of it. It weighs, I've just put it on the scales in the kitchen, it weighs 250 grams as as is at the moment. Um, obviously that bracket is going to add a touch more. It's not a massive unit, it, it's nice and solid, like it feels quality to be honest. Um, I like quality in Astro stuff and this does feel like quality. The amazing thing is even though it weighs 250 grams, the motor inside of it can lift around six kilograms when the telescope is pointing at zenith so all that weight on the back it, as long as you're under six kilos you're good to go so i'm really excited to use this i've never been that excited about focuses before because i just thought oh why do i need one but eventually when i venture into mono it's going to be a long time trust me <laughs> um and you have different focus, uh, different filters. Some filters have different focal points. Um, not everybody has par focal filters, and therefore you might need to refocus on every filter. The main advantage for me using it with my current setup is if the temperature changes, then I don't have to worry about it. Literally, I will always have pin sharp stars. So that's the end of this video. I will do another video on how to fit it and then after that when I've used it I will do a video review so all in all three videos well there will be in total three videos on the Pegasus Focus Cube V2 once again thanks to the guys at Pegasus Astro who have actually sent me this and thank you to the viewers who always keep watching my content, it's really greatly appreciated. Um, as always, check out my website www.astrostace.com oh, and I've had a new logo, so if you want to give me some feedback on that as well, that would be great. Thanks for watching.